night and welcome to the program. I am your captain for this two-hour pleasure cruise where we are dedicated to the fight and the preservation of freedom regardless of the cost. Remember, shipmates, freedom ain't cheap, but we can afford it. It's tyranny that we cannot afford. You want to be a part of the program today? Don't be shy. 646-716-7978 or you can join the captain's chat room. You know it as well as I do as long as there's there's one stinking liberal on planet friggin' Earth that's a very, very, very busy news day. Well, today is no exception. And we have a very special guest on again today, the lovely Miss uh, Raquel Oikye, the reporter from humanevents.com, is going to report on her latest article, which came out, I believe, this morning. I got an advanced copy of it, and I read it. It's a good article. There's new news coming out there, and I still cannot believe with... <laughs> With all of the people, all of the professional people out there, all these people, all these things that are that are happening, we've got a note from her. We know that she's been abused. We've already suspected it, but now we've got proof of it, why there is no investigation. They took the child away from the parents because they disagreed with the diagnosis and labeled it medical neglect and abuse. So they take the girl and they actually do give her abuse and they get to keep the custody. How is it? Why is that? What are we in some kind of strange uh, uh, Seinfeld episode? Bizarro world where everything's upside down? What the hell's going on? Why is nobody doing anything about it? And, And last night, Fox News, I was listening to the Radio Jihad Network last night. And I had a little box over there. I had had two screens on my on my computer. And I'm watching. Uh, uh, I got Fox on there <clears throat> with the sound off, waiting to see if there's any kind of story on this. Well, Greta didn't have anything. I didn't see anything. Maybe I was, you know, got up, went to the bathroom, and didn't, you know, I didn't have the sound on, so I don't know. But I didn't see anything. You would see her pictures and this and that and everything else. Nothing. So when that show was over with, you, you, you would think O'Reilly would have something. No, you know. And then my girl, Megan Kelly, she have not No, uh, you know, I turned it off after the, the, the stupid uh, uh, emails of Lois Lerner, which we're going to get into today. But nothing. This is what I can't understand. You have actual physical abuse. A girl, 14 years old, who was actually active with this vitamin regimen and, and and everything else, going to school, her mind was active. She was a you know an active kid. Goes in with a little gas, and she's thrown in a psych ward. I'm sorry, but you know we all get gas. We're all humans. That's not a a, a mental disorder where you need to be thrown in a psych ward because you have gas. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand that. That that just doesn't compute into my head. Figure it out. I can't get it. Jesus, God. We haven't even gotten underway yet. Oh, God, let's do this. Let's get underway, lift our jib, get this freedom ship underway already. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're officially underway, headed out to sea. Both are made shift colors. All right. But my God. The point is, is why is there absolutely nothing? I mean nothing. Nothing being done. Well, I mean there are, I'm not saying nothing's being done, but nothing's being done by the people who can do. That's my point. That's what I don't understand. It doesn't, there, there's just nothing in my head that can connect these freaking dots. I can't be the only one. I'm sorry. I just can't. And if I am, so be it. I don't give a damn. It doesn't make any sense to me. You label the parents for child abuse because they want to get a second opinion because they didn't come in to see you, you snot-nosed little brat, you little punk-ass bitch, seven months out of medical school? Uh, Sit down, sweetheart. You you, you might learn something, huh? Just shut up. We came in to see Dr. Flores. We didn't come in to see you. So zip it, Zippy. So they call in a psychologist because she's got gas? I mean, my God, are we going to have the FBI trailing me now if I go into the frickin' drugstore and buy some Pepismol? 
could be a terrorist. Wait till we got a story about we got a story about uh, uh, something very close to that effect, which not only can happen but is happening in a town near you, quite possibly your town. That's some sick, twisted stuff that's going on. I'm sorry, but this is, I mean, I just imagine what our first revolutionary war that we fought with the British. Basically the same things that are are, are, are happening. I mean, they're different, but they're, they're all the same. Tyrannies, 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 tyranny. Always has been, always will be. doesn't matter what flavor it is. It's still tyranny, no matter which way you go about it. All right. It looks like we've got Raquel on the line here. Let me see if I can push the right button. My producer's out again. He's got donut fever, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's see if this works. Raquel, you're on with the captain. Can you hear me? All right. Yeah, I can hear you. All righty. Hey, I just was um, uh, talking about this. Why there – and I watch Fox all, you know, night. I don't know. I turned it off after – uh, about the middle of Megyn Kelly, and there's still there's why, why is the mainstream media why is this not being taken on? I mean, she, she's not a cow, she's not worth as much. I mean, she's not yeah. a turtle. I mean, I just find that sick. But there is a rally. I was trying to get to this uh, before. I want to let you get uh, uh, get your story out. There's a rally in New York City for Justina on Sunday, May the fourth. Hopefully, she's out before then. And it's at 34th and 11th Avenue, across from the nice. Jacob Jackson. Jag- I don't know. I got this in. Um, I, I I couldn't remember if I sent this to you last night or not. Um, I think I did. I, maybe I didn't. But somebody gave it to me from one of those uh, free Justina uh, websites on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. I think I think that's yeah, where I got of, it from. Okay. It doesn't surprise me. A lot of good people in New York City. It doesn't surprise me that they would want to do that. I can get into New York City now. I, I just need to- you know the reason, the, you know this topic of um, the government coming in and taking over parental rights. It really is rampant, and um, the the problem with the media is that they know it's going on. They know it's a story, and uh, they're not covering it. And right. I've tried to get answers from people as to why this happens, and including my editor at Human Events. Why is it that people don't cover it? He said, well, most of the papers get their news outlets, you know, their their information from their local county, you know, sheriff's office or police department who have their own press department, and they basically feed the press the news. And I believe uh, that, uh, that the, unfortunately, a lot of law enforcement are involved in this problem because what they're doing is they're using law enforcement to pick up the kids. Uh, you know, because the social workers, they come knocking on your door. You know, I'm here to take your kid. Parents are like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Right. But if they got weak back up, okay, um, that's how they do it. That's, that's the scam. You know, I hate, you know, it's, I know it sounds outrageous, and, and I really got to tell you and your listeners that I'm not talking off the top of my head. No, I I've been know. Re- I, I've been researching this topic for about two years. And it also offends me uh, that so many news people turn a blind eye to this very, very serious problem. Uh, because it's not just that the government is taking children from good families for money, but they're also putting them in dangerous places. So, uh, because they're in such a rush to get the kids. They're not in such a rush to make sure the foster parents are legit and all that, you know. And what, what's been happening across the country is that they, they sick kids, their parents want them, they don't care, all right? The kids want the parents, <laughs> quite frankly, they right. don't care. They, they don't care. They, they'll lie to the kids, they don't care. Put them in these homes, and they end up getting abused by other kids in the home. Okay, so you've got, you know, 16-year-olds with 10-year-olds, you've got the 16-year-olds abusing the 10-year-olds. And this is also a really, really big problem. Now, I know a number of cases where parents have had their kids taken away from them illegally, in my opinion, and their kids have been abused in, in the system. And when they go to the county deputy, to the county sheriff's office to complain, nothing gets done. 
these abusers, real abusers, sexual abusers, physical abusers of children are out there and nobody is stopping them because they're on their side, you know, as long as they're on their side. In fact, I've got, I've done interviews, I did an interview once with a foster parent who had figured out that the mom wanted her daughter back so bad. She didn't understand why, you know, she had met the mom haphazardly, okay, by accident, and she couldn't understand why the state stole the kid from her. You know, she was ready to adopt. They had terminated her parents' parental rights. So the, the, the girl ends up explaining, like, after they took my daughter, they, they told me to do this, do that, go to, you know, these classes, parenting classes, this, that. And I, and, I, and I didn't have a car, and I had a job, and I couldn't get here and there exactly the time, and so on. I really tried to make them happy, but um, it was impossible. And she says, what if I drive you around? She said, sure, okay. Now this foster mom is going around driving the real mom, okay, the biological mom, around doing the things that the state wants her to do and blah, 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 blah. Guess what? They took the kid away from both of them because they admonished the foster mother for helping out the mom. <laughs> you know? It's just, well, it's, I... Well, I it's, 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 I'm I sorry. don't understand what the what the what is the gain by this? What oh, who? Gain. It's why, really easy. What, and you know what? what, uh, what let me tell you something too. By? Let me give you a link that I'd like you all to go to. It's really important. Uh, uh, there, there was a Georgia senator. Um, she spoke out against CPS corruption. Okay, she was pretty powerful. She was she a very state articulate. senator or uh, uh, U.S. She was senator. a state senator, Nancy Schaefer. Nancy Schaefer. Um, she was a Republican. Uh, she, she was a state senator. She got knocked out by the Republicans in a primary uh, because they didn't like the fact that she was talking about CPS. Okay. And um, she, she, she put together a few different, like, videos, and she's a great speaker, and she's able to explain the process very well. You know, and it's, that, it's the federal dollars, basically, uh, because for X amount of kids, for every child a state picks up because of abuse or neglect, supposedly, right? They get X amount of money. Now, if right. they, and this is, this is written into law too, if they successfully adopt them out, well, they get cash bonuses. That was Bill Clinton, okay? Uh, so if there's such incentive, now it doesn't end there. It doesn't, it doesn't end there. Because what the, what the states are doing is they're making parents, well, they say, well, we have to take your kid because there's cleaning supplies in the reach of them, and that's not good enough, so we're going to take your kid. So that's, how, that's, how, that's how they do it because they, they, they string along their police, okay, and they take the kids unlawfully all the time. And, and then, what, then the parents, they say, okay, look, you can get your kids back, but you have to do all these things. Well, uh, you think you drink too much, so we're going to put you, put you in an alcohol course. And, then, and we don't like that you're a smoker, so we're going to put you in an addiction course. And then we're going to put you in a parenting course, and then we want you to take drug tests, drug, drug, drug tests, no, and we want you to do, uh, and, maybe, and we want you to, you know, whatever it is. It's, it's, it's nine or ten things. So guess what? All of these people are getting paid. We want you to see a psychiatrist, too, because maybe you have, you're a little bit angry when you talk to us. So, you know, we think you need a psychiatrist. Now you've got the poor mom or dad or both of them, now they're, they're running around town, you know, doing everything that the state tells them to do because they just want their kids back, all right? They lose their job. They don't care what happens. They're running around like lunatics. And the state does everything possible so they don't succeed. This is the same thing they did to the Pelletiers. And, uh, maybe I said this example the other day. For instance, you know, they live three or four hours away, you know, from where Justine is. And the state calls them up. We're only one hour of visit a week, right? The state calls them up and says, no, we're going to do Skype today. No, 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 you, we don't want you to come here. We're going to do Skype. Okay, you know, you accept what you got, right? Tell the okay, we'll set up Skype. We'll do Skype. Okay. No, an hour before their scheduled visit, they, they said, no, no, we can't work that. You need to come to you. And now, they, and now what is it now? They made it. They made it to that visit. Um, but. If they were to show up 30 minutes later, oh, she's not here anymore. Sorry, you were late. But these are the games they play with parents constantly. Then, if, then the states have it written in the law that if a parent has already been picked up, right? I mean, the kids have already been picked up. They're already in foster care. If the parent does not complete the plan set forth by the state, well, those are grounds to terminate parental rights. That's another outrageous law 
state legislatures <sighs> pass every day. It's all over the place, okay? So now they're saying, okay, well, then now they, now they, they never, you know, in other words, they, they really don't want to give the kid back, all right? They want to adopt it out because they want more money. And they also, all of this, if you can't pay for it, if you can't afford the parenting class and the, and the drug testing and the, and the um, you know, psychology appointment, and, well, the state pays. Well, guess what? This is the federal taxpayer dollar uh, because mm-hmm. all the state does is just say, hey, hey, federal feds, I need more money because all these kids, woohoo, we are taking good care of them, and pff, there's so many. We need more money. So what they're doing is they're basically money. making a living, that psychologist, and then, of course, they've got to give kickbacks to everybody. So this is, I think, oh, a reason why it's not taken off, and I've been talking about this on my program uh, ever since this came out. That everybody's getting getting their palms greased, and and nobody wants to say anything because it's all going to unravel, and everybody's going to go to jail. But this, why is there not some kind of who does this uh, investigate uh, uh, child abuse other than the welfare department? Because it seems that the welfare department is actually involved yeah, in social this. services. It's under the realm of social services. Well, why correct. is there not an FBI kind of uh, task force or something? Well, Don't you think uh, an FBI I, kind of that's my next, Quite frankly, that's my next phone call. Um, I'm going to call the FBI in, in, in mass, and I'm going to say, you know, I don't know. Explain something to me. I, I was know. actually thinking about calling them today or writing them. Did, yeah. You know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that's, the state of Massachusetts kidnapped Justina. Exactly. They kidnapped her. I'm going to call the FBI and I'm like, what are you going to do about it? You know, what's going on here? And, and in your article, there's... All over the well, they in your article, you pointed out that uh, this is uh, whoever this guy was, the uh, uh, William Estrada, who is yes. the director of uh, there at, at, at Parental Rights. And Correct. he said what I, uh, I mean, he just proved again what I've been been talking about is this is cannot be an isolated case. How many children are in this, and how many states? Is this nationwide? Is this just, it is. you know, one state? It's got to be nationwide, right? It's nationwide. I mean, this is sick. It, it, ever since I've been covering, ever since the, I, I've wrote three articles already on Justina, I'm getting a ton of messages on, from my Facebook friends. Hey, Raquel, you know, my kids were taken, da, da, da. Hey, Raquel, you know, they did that to me once. Hey, Raquel, I did, it's nonstop. It's it's horrifying for me when I read these messages. Oh, it's I, completely I, I, horrifying. I, I, but why, I don't understand why why there isn't somebody. There's nobody in the FBI that has ever picked up a freaking newspaper, a magazine, or a, 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 a new a, anything, radio, television. Well, why is somebody it's, not it's, on this? It doesn't make any sense. I, I think that you know they've been told no. You st- anytime, like even the ACLU, anybody, anybody, yeah, where are they, any, where are they at? I, I called them. No, we're not the attorney, so we cannot comment. Oh, that is stuff. Call Liberty Council, he said. That's oh, what they told that, me at ACLU in Mass, in Boston. Is. They said, call Liberty Council. If this isn't violating her civil rights, what the hell is? Well, she has right? an attorney. ACLU doesn't care about it. No, the ACLU, I mean, this I'm, is the problem. I think... I think that the people, I think that Washington, D.C. knows about this problem. That's number one. They number two, to. I think that these bigger government agencies like the FBI, the FBI should absolutely be involved and start taking Someone. these people down. But they don't. Why? Well, the because Justice Department involved. should be involved in it, too. Jeb Bush, Jeb Bush who, who was the brother of the president, right, Gov- ex- former governor of Florida, he was doing it. It's the, the, the people who are doing it are so big, they're untouchable. But how do the they sleep at night right? knowing that they're, they're they're taking a child, an innocent child who comes in with gas, and take, they don't take her away? It doesn't, you know, they're they're into they're a They don't think it's going to happen to them. They don't think it would ever happen to them. They're completely insulated and protected. What do they care? Yeah, but how can they don't you care actually about physically kids. do no, that? Don't. To, to the kid, how do you get to that level in your mind where you can actually take a child away from their parents and throw them in a psych ward, don't give them any medication, mistreat them, yeah, hit them? Yeah, do, I mean, how do you do that? These are, these are trained, licensed social workers, 
I know. Captain, how dare you question their authority? Come oh, on. Oh, I know. It's my bad. My, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, but I, you know what I mean? I, to be a social worker, and I, and, and I, I know some. you got to go to college for that. Worker. You can't. You know, you have to actually I think be I'm going to go back to college and, and change my major to social work because, gee, I got all this power to control family. I don't, I don't know what goes through these people heads. I think that I think that when they're trained, I think through the training. Pro- oh, this is another thing about social services. If they have big turnarounds, because what happens is people go into it with really, you know, good intentions. Right, you know? and find out what it um, is, and, yeah. and then they get there and they're like, "Holy cow, what the heck is going on?" And they quit. They leave. All right. So there's really, really big turnaround in CPS and in uh, the ones that stay, um, they're they're kidnapping kids fast, lots of them. And they're really good at it. And they're pure evil. They're just pure evil people. They get promoted. They keep going up and up and up. Um, They they are the ones who are training the newbies. Um, But uh, but but those are far and few between because I have to hope. People don't do it, but no, they get the, they get them. They get the people to do it. These with straight faces, nice smiles, fancy clothes, high heel shoes. Yep. I am a social worker. I am here to take your children because I know better than you. Goodbye. Come here, Mister Police Officer. She's <laughs> harassing me. You know, no, it's what they do. They go. Hand in hand. I know. Go, huh? It's not funny. The but social worker. Here. They go to the house. They take your kids. Period. Well, you here's no what sense. I want to know. Let me ask you this. If, I mean, look, we can't, uh, uh, who knows what the FBI is doing, but, I mean, we know we, we can't get with the Justice Department. They're not going to get involved in it because they're probably involved in it already. Plus, he's too busy I making speeches so. about white people hating black people, so he's not going to get himself involved. Now, and plus, no. he's got the IRS scandal. Well, what if the FBI doesn't do Who else can you – you can't go to the governor because he's involved in it. You can't get a judge. They're involved in it. You can't get any right. DA. Obviously, they're involved in it. You can't get a hospital staff. You can't get the cops. No. I mean, who the hell nope. can you get? I mean, in, if she was a cow, look how many freaking cowboys we'd have in there with guns. But she's obviously not worth as much as a cow. So we've got nobody going in. If there's ever an opportunity to go in there with guns to take this girl away and all the other kids, I mean, this is it. Not a cow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This is what just boggles yeah. my mind. Why nobody in a position that actually can do something does nothing. That's where my frustration is right there. Well, who do you uh, go too. to? Let's say you call the FBI and they say, we're well, not doing I anything. Haven't well, well, I haven't called the FBI yet, but I plan on it, maybe today. And um, I do know, though, for a fact, that the FBI is, I'm looking at the state of Louisiana in the child trafficking industry. Um, I do know for sure that there is a class action being put together. I don't know if it was filed or not. Um, And if it hasn't been filed, it's going to be filed shortly. And I do know that this team um, had a, have have a, um, a donor um, who, who is giving unlimited amount of money so, so they could really do the work um, because it takes money to do that. And for six months, they investigated the child trafficking network in the state of Louisiana, and they put together a class action lawsuit that shows uh, RICO violations. Everybody's getting paid, the judge, the social worker, the department, the governor, the everybody, everybody, everybody's involved. You know it. And they're going you know, to take it to federal court, um, and maybe that's the only avenue, federal court. However, uh, there was a decision – um, and I'm probably going to talk about it in my next article that um, that attorney told me from Parental Rights. Um, what's his name again? Um, uh, I got it right here. Estrada, uh, Estrada. Uh, William Estrada. Yeah. Mr. Estrada. Yeah, he told me that. What ha- you know, we have that one case. It basically says that parents, it's a Supreme Court case that says that parents, you have to give them um, the highest uh, rate of, you know, it has to be highest of scrutiny. You can't just take parents with parental rights away without giving them the highest level of due process, basically. And um, that is the law of the land. And what he told me was that there was another case uh, that it was ruled, you know, it was a little bit, it, it, it appeared to give parents less rights. Um, and that's what sort of the judges, he says, in state court are running with. Um, they're running with that ruling. 
Um, and um, I also understand that that even the judges are under pressure. Um, that that the, some of the some of the systems are so bad, judicial districts are so bad that even the judges can't control them. The money is so big, and it's been going on for so long. It's talking about twenty, twenty-five, maybe more. Say twenty uh-huh. years in America. Say twenty-five years in America. And what happens is that they become so arrogant, and they keep getting the money, and then they get arrogant, and then they get sloppy. And right now, they are, they are very sloppy. They, they, you know, they don't care they, because they get away with it for so long. Right. They become yeah, very they comfortable with it and brazen with you know, it. You can't touch DCS me. I'm from young. a hospital. Yeah. You call DCS from a hospital, your kid's done. Gone. It doesn't even matter who you are, what you've been, what kind of parent you are. Has no idea. You, I, you take your kid to a hospital for for whatever reason. You take a chance. I that know that's what I've been calls, saying too. Exactly. Well, it's, and it's not even like they come in and really investigate, Captain. They don't. They just like bingo. And, and I want I want to quote something that was told to me. I had I had a conversation with a former guardian ad litem. Um, which is which is what's appointed usually uh, to a child in in these cases. But from what I understand, the guardian ad litem programs work right along with the state. So it's like you've got the prosecutor, you've got the state, and then you also have the guardian ad litem all against you with all the force and effect of the government. They have, uh, you know, uh, any amount of resources against this one what single mom, you know, who just you know happens to be poor, you know, and you, uh, and they decide that we're going to steal her only kid from her. <laughs> How can there be this many people involved in it and not one person is 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 willing to stand up? With this There's many people involved, how can it There's be that not involved. one person, not one person, not a nurse, not a janitor, not not a staff member, not a judge, yeah. not anybody? A lot of them are afraid. I, I, a afraid lot of them what? are afraid. Who, who's of who's the state? Don't come and get your kids. Anybody. Um... I think it's. I think it comes straight from the governor's office. I, 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 I have to put the blame on the governor, or or the county sheriff, one or the other. It depends who's getting the money, because every every state county is different. Um, but um, oh, it's so really like in Louisiana, a, a, the really money would go to like the sheriffs, and then another state it could go to uh, uh, another department. Is that what you're saying? Correct. It just depends. Yeah, you just have to follow the money. But eventually, these federal dollars come from, you know, our collected via the government of the state. So it has to come from the governor's office. You know, in other words, the governor knows how much money is coming in on federal taxpayers. That's let's why just talk about Florida tied, because he's going to have to admit that he knew what was going on and he's going to get he's himself in a hole. I know. That's gonna, what what, what, what might up. happen, what might go down is if, if, if like, say the, say the class action lawsuit in Louisiana wins. Well, every state in the union can use that format, and they can do the same thing, okay, and they can win as well. And then what happens with, when things start falling apart? Well, the big people, well, they start eating each other, okay? That, that, that's good. We want that to happen. So I'm hoping that, it, you know, it comes, to a, it comes to a bubble where FBI is knocking on your door and see how fast, you know, the attorney general gives up the governor. See how fast, real fast. So you know that's that's what we want. We want the people. We want them to start turning on each other. There are whistleblowers out there. You can find them on YouTube and stuff. You know they're former social workers, and they will tell you exactly what I'm telling you. Um, but for 25 years, there. you're I, saying this is going on. You know what I mean? I mean, why is it taking 25 years for somebody to? You know, I'm sure there are a whistleblower here and there. Maybe the FBI's got them. You know, under wraps. Yeah. You know, maybe that kind of thing. Yeah. But why is yeah. it taking 25 years for this to actually come out? I don't know. I don't have an answer to that. Not it's one so person. Corrupted. Well, that's so more of a rhetorical. But, I mean, not one person yeah, I know. is willing to say that they're, they're taking these kids, kidnapping them, and then abusing them. Yeah, I mean, I just find that unconscionable. Situation. Correct. Most times. And plus, the kids do really bad, you know, in the, in the future. Um, you know, they're more likely to go in jail. They're more likely to um, use drugs. They're most likely, you know, there's a lot of bad statistics going on uh, with foster kids. If you look at the American jail system, those are so, stolen grown-ups, kids that were stolen from their parents, and, and they're adults now, and they're sitting in jail uh, because the state has ruined their lives. 
I even, I've even talked to kids out of foster care who give me the same, same, same uh, testimony. And I just wanted to tell you what that guardian ad litem told me. Um, she said every, and I never forget this, she said every child in the state of Florida has a bounty on their head. Um, this is I'll a be former excited. guardian, guardian ad litem. Every child in the state of Florida has a bounty on their head. How scary that is. I mean, I just <laughs> I, I just can't believe that it is. I mean, I knew there was certain things like that, but I thought it was very isolated, very, uh, you know, you didn't hear about it. But what you're yeah. telling me and everything that I'm learning, I mean, this seems to be a very, very massively orchestrated big you know, deal that's been going on for you said twenty yeah, over twenty years. How many kids yeah. throughout that time? It's got to be in the millions. This is yeah, this, in the millions. This, well, there's got to be somebody. Them, gotta, it's destroying our country. Um, it is destroying our country. I know a lady who um, she got pregnant. She didn't know she was pregnant, by the way. She thought she could never have kids. She was like in her early forties. And um, she winds up in the emergency room because she wasn't feeling well, and she delivered a baby. You know, the baby was only real premature, you know, right. maybe maybe early second semester. I don't, I'm not sure. And um, and because she was just so shocked, you know, I, I was pregnant. You know, she just didn't even know. And then also she was shocked because she thought she couldn't have kids, so she was so happy. Wow, you mean I'm going to get to have a kid, a little girl? You know, she's static but she's a mom she did she she was told she couldn't have kids well guess what they took her pcf said that now she's in the hospital because it's a preemie so the baby can't leave until it's big enough but while in the hospital dcf says well it's your fault she's so skinny what yeah, yeah. they took they took her away from the mom they battled her they battled her for about seven years in civil court she tried so hard. She tried so hard to get her daughter back. Oh, my goodness. In seven years, they, they, they beat the crap out of her, basically, um, mentally. And uh, they would, the, the judge would give the baby back, and then they would come in and say, no, she's not, you know, doing it good. She's not doing a good enough job. And then they, I, mean, they I don't know how people can do that. Take them back. This went on for seven years until they terminated her parental rights, and she had a nervous breakdown. You can't even talk to her. I mean, this she is had a, a nervous breakdown. She never recovered. You want to know how long, how old her daughter is now? Oh, adopted out, by the way. She's 15. That's 15 um, years ago. She had a nervous breakdown, and she never recovered. And Thank look, you, look what State all of Florida. Florida. Missed. missed her mother, missed everything. She's stuck in a, in, a, in a group home. And I do know about group homes. When I was a kid, um, right across the street, we had a group home for, for several years there, and there were different uh, families. And mom would uh, – my father died when I was a kid, when I was five. So this was very shortly kind of thereafter. A group home moved in across the street. They built uh, built a home. And mom would use the kids to – they were troubled kids. They did, you know, a little trouble. But, you know, they were in, a, in an environment, and mom would uh, have the kids mow the lawn and give them a couple of bucks here and there and earn different stuff. And – they went to our same schools and all of that, but there was one family where the, 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 no, these kids were, I mean, they were they were too much for the certain area. And, you know, and then you start thinking about different stuff, and they're just, they're like, well, we got to take care of it. They're like farm, like, like a farm animal, so to speak. So they don't really have a real kind of, there's no real feeling there. There's no this. There's no that. It's just like a drag doing the same thing over and over and over again. And if the kid gets out of line, whack, wick, whack, you know, I mean, this is, yeah. but one, one yeah. thing before, um, um, uh, before I forget, 